Using a generator to power camera gear on remote shoots is quite common. For smaller video shoots this is not really an option, so having a compact power station is the best solution. In this video I will take a look at the Anker 521 which can charge different devices and batteries simultaneously. The portable power station has 256 watt hours which is a good capacity considering the size of the device. It has two USB-A outputs, one USB-C port, a car socket and depending on the region one or two AC outputs. The USB ports support fast charging and plug and charge which means you can simply plug in a device and it will be charged automatically. Once the device is being removed it will stop. The AC output and car socket each have a dedicated button to turn the power on and off. If the power is not turned off the battery will drain slowly over time. Both buttons have a light in the middle that indicates whether the power is on or off so you don't accidentally leave it on after using the ports. The power station also has a switch to turn on and off energy saving mode. According to Anker it's best to always keep the energy saving mode on unless when connecting cameras which is the main use for us. The screen shows the amount of battery power in percent. If the AC power is turned on it will also show how many hours it can power the connected device. Once the USB ports are used the display will also show how many hours of battery are left. The long white bar below the ports is an LED light with a warm color temperature that can be used in the dark or if there's a power outage. It can be turned on or off by short pressing the button on the left once. The device weighs 4.3 kilos which sounds like a lot but isn't that heavy considering the size. The top handle certainly comes in handy since the housing doesn't have any screw holes or connections to mount it onto something. The build quality seems good and even though it doesn't look like it's meant to be used in heavy weather we haven't had any issues when filming outdoors. While most of our corporate shoots are indoors with AC power supply available almost everywhere we do have some projects that are remote with no access to electricity. Having a power bank on location is always a good idea to charge a phone or power small LED lights during a video shoot but certainly not enough to power a camera for multiple hours. So far we have mostly used the Anker 521 for time-lapse work. The challenge when shooting photo time-lapses is that the camera often needs to be on for multiple hours to be able to capture a picture every few seconds or minutes depending on what is being recorded. The regular camera batteries usually don't last very long. So having an external powering solution is the best way to keep the camera on for the whole shoot. While some cameras can be powered via USB-C I use the AC adapter of the camera and plug it into the battery grip. Then all I need to do is turn on the AC power output and plug in the cable. Once this is done I can start using the camera immediately. The advantage of this setup is that I don't even need to have any batteries in the camera or the battery grip. I can let the camera capture thousands of frames over a whole day or night without shutting down once. Just be aware that it's best to turn off energy saving mode for long time lapse sessions to ensure a constant powering of the camera. Something worth mentioning is also the built in fan. If you're having the device in constant use over a few hours the fan can turn on and be audible. The noise isn't loud or distracting but something to be aware of especially for video shooters. While having more than just one USB-C output would certainly be a good option a lot of devices that we use on a daily basis also still have USB-A ports. But this is of course different for each user 
and all depends on the specific devices that need to be powered or charged. What really makes a big difference compared to smaller powering solutions is the 200 watt AC output. Depending on the country or region, the Anker 521 even features two AC outputs. The German unit we use has one output with 220 volt to 240 volt. When filming our YouTube videos, we also use the power station to charge other devices. One of the biggest advantages of the Anker 521 is the ability to charge multiple devices at once. Since we shoot most of our tutorials and reviews outdoors, being able to charge a microphone, gimbal and camera battery simultaneously on location is certainly worth carrying around this little box.